Today we're going to learn to do something we've never done before in this channel. One light. The most important tip, if you do a quick search on the internet on boudoir photography, the results would yield, oh, the poses are just too similar. Look at all this. And this is where we're going to do differently today. We're going to get Alicia to even wear a pair of boots with the lingerie and do really exaggerated and awkward poses like this. And secondly, since this is a one light shoot, it's important that you understand the clock. This is 12 o'clock. This is where you are. And this is where the model is. Instead of putting the lights here or here, you should put the light here at 7 o'clock or at 5 o'clock here. Oh, take note that I have the lights pointing down to my subject. Always have lights going down instead of going up. And after you've gotten the light in position, it's important for you to use high power on your flash. Try full power or one half of a power on your hot shoe flash. And then head onto your camera and use high F value, F11 or F16. And the shutter speed should be high too, 1 over 100 or 1 over 200. Be careful not to break the sync speed. And an ISO of 100 or 200. You must be wondering like, why do we do this? Important settings on your camera. You're going to be shooting Boudoir, you see a lot of skin tone. I'm switching to Kelvin on my white balance at 5560 on my Nikon. Now, here's what, are you ready? Here's what we're going to do. I want you to liberate yourself with the poses. Do anything you want, change poses, just rapidly change poses. When I see something nice, I'm going to tell you to stop and you stop exactly there. We're going to take a shot. So I'm not going to direct you. It's important to liberate your models. Let them do whatever it is. When the poses are not good, just move on. When the poses are not good, just... I like that. Turn your face to the right hand side. Good. Alright. No, hands don't come down. That's it. Okay, turn your face to your right hand side. Love this. Chin down a little bit. Good. Okay, change. Right, left, hand down. Okay, head look up high. Too high, too high. Okay, that's beautiful. Good. Change. Oh, I like this. Face turn this side now. Right. Okay, I like this. I like this. I like this. Legs longer. Point. Yeah, that's good. Right hand up. Okay, face turn back to your left hand side. Face turn to your left hand side. This is nice. Chin up. That's it. Good. This is beautiful. Change. No. Next. No. Next one. Okay. That's it. Sit down. This is nice. More. Sit down more. Right. Oh. Uh, stay there. No. Next tip. Less is more. And closer is better. Sit down completely more. Right. And that is so much nicer. And why is closer better? Well, closer or the rule of closer is actually a compositional rule that you can learn in photography called the art of seeing. So when you compose by zooming in closer or cropping tighter, things will look more fascinating because your viewers seldom look at your subject that close. Well, if you really want to learn more about composition in photography, head on to my website here. There are two courses that you can learn about composition or art of seeing. As an e-learning on its own, with many lessons dedicated to all the rules, you can check out Art of Seeing. Or you can head on to Premium Courses, a multi-genre subscription where you just need to pay $29 US per year and this is the promo price. And you can learn about composition and Art of Seeing in this part of Premium Courses. In fact, Premium Courses covers more than just composition and Art of Seeing. You have lighting, you have camera setting, you get started with photography, this is a place to check out. You learn about portraits, you learn about products, you learn about commercial photography. Whatever that you want to learn, Premium Courses has it. And every week, we upload new lessons to Premium Courses. And hurry, look at the price now. This is a special promo for the whole year. Next, post near the wall. And when your subject goes near the wall, this is the best trick you can do. Take your one light, instead of pointing to the subject, whack it to the wall like so.
Are you ready for the next tip? We have been having our flashes pointing to the wall at 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock. Here's the next one. Take the flash and point it directly to your camera's lens. And you're going to get shots like this. Flash. Flash can be really artistic in boudoir shoots, especially low-key boudoir shoots like this. Hope you like our tutorial today. Remember to click like, share, and subscribe, and so that I can have more videos for all of you again. Not only that, head on to our website here and check out our part two of best boudoir photography tips and tricks in our premium courses section, which will be launched this Friday. I see you in our website. No, why are you not wearing mask and I have to wear mask all the time? Explain. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand the logic. She has the least clothes, but then she... Yeah, I mean it makes sense. You don't have clothes and then you...